Let's go talk to Percy. Just a moment. <coughs> oh, Mr. Jordan, please do come in. Yes. What can I do for you? What? What can I do for you? That's a small talk first. Do you come to Rome a lot? Not as often as I used to. It's interesting to be back. Save our progress as... Dr. Jones. Room. Now let's have some conversation with him. Make some headway. Talk? Of course. Um... Oxford? So, how are things at Oxford? Hmm. They're fine, from what my colleagues tell me. I've been on sabbatical, you see. Sabbatical? Oh, hmm. since when? I started at the beginning of this year. Didn't I mention it? No, I don't think you did. Ah, oh, well, yes. I've been doing field studies, hence our first meeting in Smailholm. Hmm. I'm due to return at the beginning of next semester. Quincy Sanborn. Speaking of Oxford, do you know Professor Quincy Sanborn? Yes, he works in the theology department, I believe. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm. He didn't know you. You've met him? Yeah, yes, a few weeks ago have. in Greece. I asked him if he knew you and he said he didn't. Ah, oh, well, I haven't actually met him yet. He began teaching shortly before I began my sabbatical. I'm afraid I never got around to introducing myself. Oh. Okay. Okay. Percy's holiday. So, you said you're on holiday here in Rome? Yes, I decided to spend the end of the year here. I've always been fascinated with Rome. It's one of my favorite cities. Unfortunately, I'm unable to fully enjoy my holiday. Why's that? My work never seems to be done, I'm afraid. Work? What work is that? What is that you're working on? Oh, uh, just some research for my classes. Nothing important. What's the map for? You're as inquisitive as ever, I see. Mm -hmm. I could explain it all, but I'm sure you'd find it terribly boring. And I'm sure you have more important things to be doing than listening to me prattle on. Ah, uh, murder. Have you heard anything about the murder of Thomas Ryan? I'm afraid not. Is that the case you're working on? Yeah, this priest, Ryan, was murdered by a guy named Renzi. He says he was possessed by a demon when he did it. A demon, you say? Yeah. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Have you made much progress? Well, I have a few leads I'm looking into. Good, good. If you require any assistance, be sure to let me know. Yeah, the search of demons. Are you familiar with demons? I've heard of several cases of murders blamed on demonic possession. More often than not, the supposed victim of possession is simply delusional. You think Renzi was making it up then? It's difficult to say without having met him. He seemed pretty normal to me. Do not forget we are in Rome, Mr. John. Religion plays a large role in the city. That's all for now. Very well. Okay. Anything else? Can we talk? Of course. That's all for now. Very well. Let's look at his desk. Strewn all over the desk are several papers and notes. However, you don't feel comfortable getting close enough to read them with Percy watching you. On the wall is a small map. <clears throat> you notice that Percy has placed several pish pins in various locations. Interesting. It's Professor Percival Quentin Jones. He looks particularly tired and stressed for a man who's on vacation. The hotel room's decorations are much more cheerful than yours. Ah, let's be on our way. Save our progress is Dr. Jones' room. Well, I'm gonna get going. Farewell. Bye bye. Let's go back to San Silvestro and Capite. I'm gonna ask, the fa ask Father McNamara any more questions. Hello again, Father McNamara. Hello, Mr. Jordan. It's lovely to see you again. How may I help you? Hmm. Murder. Are you sure you don't know anything about Thomas Ryan's murder? Mm. It's as I said, Mr. Jordan. We have no one by that name at his church. Hmm. Mm. Goodbye. I'll see you later, Father. God be with you. 
Let's move on our way. Anywhere else we can go? Let's go to back to the Teatro Manzoni. Let's ask questions of the usher. <coughs> this is a nice theater you've got here. Thank you. We do our best. Excuse me, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions? Yes, you may, but please make it quick. Yes. Thanks for your time. Goodbye, sir. There's nothing else to do here. I forgot we have a tape. We have Renzi's tape recorder. Let's go back to the hotel. Maybe we can do something with it. Hey, where'd Alice go? She said she was going to her room to unpack and have a shower. I expect she'll be back in a while. Okay. Let's look at our tape recorder. It's an old tape recorder you got from Renzi's dressing room. He must use it to practice his lines. Let's use it now. You play the tape and find that it's blank. Okay. Maybe we can use it for something, I don't know. Simon doesn't want any of your junk. Uh, anything we can ask questions for Simon? Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. Research. Do you think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? What do I need? Father Ryan's murder. Can you check the local papers and see if the murder has been reported yet? Sure, give me one mm. second. Nope, nothing. Something what? isn't right here. This isn't right at Don't all. Don't you think a priest being murdered would be front page news by the next day? You're right. It's been four days and no one said a word. Father McNamara over at San Silvestro denied having heard of Thomas Ryan. And today I found out that Renzi hung himself after being visited by someone from the Vatican. I'm not one to be a conspiracy theorist, but it sounds like someone is trying to keep all this under wraps. It certainly looks that way. I think I need to go have another talk with Father McNamara. I don't need to research anything else. Uh, advice. You got any ideas of what I should do next? Not really. You seem to be doing fine on your own. That's all. That's all for now. Right. Let's save our progress. <clears throat> As, um... A motel. I'm gonna move to go to bed just yet. Let's go outside and talk to, fa talk to Father McNamara. See you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.